Alright, in this video, I am going to make a window that displays the accessories on my players. So I have my glasses on, I can see them right here in this window, glasses are on the guy. I can open and shut my accessories window, and I can delete the accessory. That's pretty cool. I'm going to do this video in two parts, one for the UI elements, and then the next one for the code, because it'll get kind of long. Let's go ahead and get another accessory so you can see that it was not just a fluke. There we go, we got the hat. That's cool. Let's shut the window. All right, let's go ahead and get started with uh, part one, building the UI elements. All right, so in order to build windows that display accessories, let's have something that, have a game that has accessories in it. So I'm gonna use the game from my last video, adding accessories. I'll put this link in the description, make this shareable. You can go to these three dots, hit edit, if you wanna copy along, exactly. But if you have your own game with accessories, you're more than welcome to use that one. All right, so we got accessory Bob from the last video. I did add a few more accessories to his capability. Just, he doesn't just give hats now. He gives, like in the demo, he gives a hat, backpack, and glasses. Let's take a look at server storage. This, these are all of the accessories I'm using in game. When I display an accessory on my UI element, I wanna display the icon that represents it. That's not easy to do, right from the accessory itself. So let's make a little modification on this. Let's go to backpack, hit that plus sign, and then we're gonna add uh, a string value. There we go, string value. I'm gonna call that string value asset, asset ID, right? Asset ID. I'm gonna do a control D, I'm gonna duplicate those to all of my accessories that I want to have in my game. I only have four, so it won't take too long. Let's go ahead and get asset IDs for each of these. I'll start with, let's go to toolbox, my stuff, right? I went to the inventory. I have my shoulder bird. I'm gonna right click, copy asset ID. Let's go to the bird. That's the one. And for value, control V. I'm just putting the number there. I'm not prepending it with the RBX asset ID uh, identifier, just a number. And what else we got here? Oh, we got a hat. So let's right click, copy, and asset ID for the hat, control V, right? It doesn't have to be the asset. It just has to look like it, right? This is just for the icon. We're gonna pull the icon when we have our, when we have our user interface pop up. I'm gonna go to marketplace to get the other two. I need a backpack and I need glasses. So let's do backpack. Tactical backpack, copy asset ID, and here it is, asset ID, control V. Cool, and then I need my sunglasses. Sunglasses. There we go. Ooh, it's the same ones too. There we go, copy that, sunglasses. Although this is kind of a big image, you might wanna re retake that image. Asset ID, control V. Nice. All right, now we can display icons. Let's go down to starter GUI and make a, a starter GUI. I like to call them GUIs. Some people say GUI. So I made a screen GUI on my starter GUI. I'm gonna hit the screen GUI plus sign and I'm gonna make a button first, text button. This is gonna open and close my, my user interface for my accessories. And I'm gonna call this ACK Open BTN. Nice. We'll go up to, or go down here to background color, maybe change the color a little bit. Uh, purple, that looks pretty good. And what else? I'm not gonna change size and stuff like that. You could do that. Font, bangers, and text, accessories. Oh, and I put a little slash there. Accessories, cool. And then text color, I don't know, make it something uh, it's not very easy to see, so I'm gonna make the size a little bigger, maybe 25, uh, 25 for the text size. And then I'm gonna add the uh, text stroke transparency. I'll make text strokes, text stroke transparency to zero. That'll give it an outline. That's not too hard to see, that's pretty good. Cool, and then we need to open and shut that, so we're gonna have to put a script on it. Let's go back to that though. Let's go to our screen GUI, and now let's add our scrolling frame 
for all of our accessories. Scrolling frame because you want to be able to make this much bigger if they have lots of accessories. So we'll do scrolling frame. There we go. You drag this wherever you want. I am going to just do the basics of positioning. So this might not be uh, friendly for different devices. You'll have to play around with your positioning. So if I go here to my my phone, right? You might want to make that scale. That is in absolute pixels. But this is good for demonstration purposes. I'm going to call this ACK main FRM, right? For accessory mainframe. And then on my accessory mainframe, I'm going to add a text label. This is going to be my title label. Title. Title LBL. Cool. And let me just stretch this out. There we go. That's good enough. Let's change some stuff on it. Should we change the background color? Hmm. Background color. I think we made it. I think I made it darker on the video. I'll do that color. There we go. And then change the text. Let's change the font to bangers. So it matches. And then maybe the text size. Oops, not text scale. Text size. 25. Cool. Ooh, text stroke transparency. I'll make that. That's text transparency. Let's keep that. Let's keep that at zero. Let's do text stroke transparency of zero two. Zero also. And then we'll do the text color as green. Text itself. Let's call that accessories. That's pretty good. And now what we're going to do is we need to make this so that the rows are added with code dynamically. We don't need extra rows if we don't have all those accessories. Let's go ahead and make a text frame or a, what do you call it? A frame. But we want them to be added by code without having to position them. So we'll go to our ACK mainframe get the UI list layout and that's going to order things in a vertical in a vertical way um, by default. That's going to be handy. So now when I add a frame here, it plops it down here. It doesn't do the size, but if we go and make another one, control D. So you notice how it adds it down in this vertical in this vertical sense. That's going to be handy. All right, let's call this frame ACK row. Acro FRM for accessory row frame. All right, I want this to be the same size. I'm going to go to my title, same size as title. I'm going to get the size. I'm going to do Control C to copy. Go to my Acro frame. Go to size. Control V. There we go. Same size. Cool beans. Let's get this plus sign, and we're going to add an image label. That's going to be for our little um, our little icon, so that we can see what it looks like. Let's call this item. Item. I should call it like item LBL. Nice. And I'm going to change the size with code. I'm going to make it zero scale, 50 pixel offset. Zero scale, 50 pixel offset. Cool. That's good. And then underneath that, I'm going to do a text label for the name. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's call this name label. So if it's like the bird or something like that, I'll say bird. I'm going to just move this over so we can see our little image. Cool. We're going to move this this way for our little trash can. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and change the uh, change the font here. What was that? Bangers. I'm not going to make this any bigger because the names might get bigger and I'm not going to do a whole lot of work on the UI Part. I'm just going to get the bare bones going. A lot of you guys do better UIs than me anyway. Text or label, I'm not going to change because I'm going to change that with code. Uh, we could do the te text color to make it match green. And then maybe text stroke transparency. Oops, that's text transparency. I don't know why I'm doing that a lot today. Make that zero. There we go. Got a little outline. Let's make the whole frame maybe this color. But we're not going to be able to see it until we make this transparent. Oh, we'll be able to see it over here. Let's do that. Acro frame. 
let's make this color that purple, right? And then let's make these the background transparent. Click on item, item label, name label. Oh, I spelled name, name wrong. Name label, item label. We'll go to background transparency, make it one. And once we got an image here, it'll be um, the background. You'll see more background. This uh, placeholder fills the entire image label. All right, oh, and we need a button right here for our trash can. Let's go to act row frame, and we'll add an image button. Cool, where was that? There it is, image button. Let's call that trash. Trash BTN. I'll make that a little smaller. I'm going to make that, I don't know, zero scale on the X, 35 pixels, zero scale on the Y, 35 pixels. Let's just drag that over here. Will that work? Maybe a little bit this way. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, we got to make that background transparent too. Let's go up here. Background transparency, one. Cool beans. All right. Ooh, we can get the trash icon right now. Let's go to home, toolbox. Under I'm under marketplace. Go to images, trash icon. There we go. And I think I used that in the demo. Copy asset ID. Trash button. We're going to go to the image. There it is. Control V. And then the asset or RBX asset ID is prepended. That part there is prepended. That looks good. That looks good. So that's going to be a template row. We're not going to keep that there. We're going to add them with code. So like if I have this and I add something else with code, Control D, see how it adds nicely? That's that UI list layout. Let's do a control Z to get rid of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my acro frame. I'm going to move it up to replicated storage. That's where I'm going to get it. Now I'm not putting these in folders or anything to make them neat. You'll have to do that on your own. Cool. All right. What else? Final thing. Let's add a, uh, a script to open and close this right here. And that will conclude part one. We'll add the code to add the accessories to the UI element. Um, in the next video. So let's look at our accessories act open button. Hit the plus sign, that button right there. Add a local script. We want to open and close that window. Let's say act open. I'll say loc. Act open loc. So you know it's a local script. And we need a variable for our button, act button. Right. Or we can just call it, let's make it more descriptive. Act open button, script.parent. And then what else? We need the frame that we want to show. So we have the act main frame. That is script.parent. That takes us up to the act open button. That takes us up to the screen GUI. Then we can get our act main frame. And then let's make the act main frame visibility false when we start the game so we don't have that window when we start we're going to open and close it when we hit a button all right what else let's get our act open button and i'll do an anonymous function here activated connect function anonymous because it has no name right it's going to be in place and function what are we going to do we're going to do accessories frame dot Visible equals not accessories mainframe. I meant to say mainframe over here, dot visible. So whatever it wasn't, it now is. Now it should work. Let's try it. All right. So we got that much. We got our user uh, interface in place. We got the user interface components in place. Next video, I'm going to add code. I'm going to go through the character display this, and then have the rows populate as I get more things on my character. All right, well, that'll do it for now. I will see you in the next video.